is innovation. It's focused on turning plastic waste into the biofuel. The main purpose of this project is to reduce accumulation of plastic waste, especially during this pandemic. According to the World Health Organization, WHO, Personal Protective Equipment PPE saw to 160 million per day in February 2020, about 12 times the usual quantity. Therefore, this innovation is the right solution to pursuing a greater future for our precious environment. Imagine every piece of our packaging nowadays is made of plastics. During these challenging times, plastic has been commonly used in order to prevent the spreading of COVID-19 viruses. COVID-19 test kit and personal protection equipment (PPE) also contribute to the increase of plastic waste. In the next 10 years, plastic will reach 22 million tons and possibly as much as 58 million tons a year. What will happen if we ignore all of these millions? tons of plastics. How if this plastic accumulated 80% in landfills? How will our younger generation survive? Our main objective for this project is first, we want to reduce existing plastic waste to something beneficial. Second, we want to minimize environmental impact to our nature. And the last one, we want to reduce high rates of plastic pollution by putting less pressure on virgin materials to produce new plastic products. Since 2020, all countries are undergoing the deadly pandemic era. Lockdown is a must for us to break the COVID-19 chain. PPE that are made from plastic have played crucial roles in protecting people during this COVID-19 pandemic, such as masks, gloves, protective aprons, face shield, sanitizer containers, and medical gowns, which are mostly made from non-woven materials. Therefore, the accumulation of plastic waste will increase. It doesn't stop there. People have been ordered to stay at home. Hence, people will produce more plastic waste than usual. For example, plastic parcels bag for shipping utility. On the economy side, our economy has dropped widely. The currency drop is beyond our imagination. Moreover, people have been losing their job since the restriction movement control order began. Some businesses are unable to survive. Tourism companies are dying since nobody is allowed to go anywhere without permission. This innovation helps lessen the accumulation of plastic waste by turning the plastic into biofuel. Nevertheless, it also helps the government financially. For the sake of our children and future generation, we should not ignore the reality that we are currently facing. With this project, we believe plastic disposal can be recycled and composed in a better way since the decomposition of plastic typically range from 500 until 600 years depending on the type. Therefore, there are two things that we can be assured of at this moment. Firstly, short-term benefit. There will be decrease of a plastic waste since half of them will be changed into biofuel. Two, the long-term benefit. Landfill no longer be the only way to decomposing plastic waste. Masks have become one of the most prominent symbols of the coronavirus pandemic, which triggered an estimated global use of 129 billion face masks and 65 billion gloves every month. When single-use face masks are not disposed of properly, they pose an environmental risk. Single-use face masks, both the disposable kind the general public wears and medical-grade surgical masks, are often made with polypropylene plastic. Here are all sorts of plastics such as polypropylene from masks, polyethylene from cartons, and other types of plastic will be turned into biofuel with our project. First and foremost, the first stage required is to vaporize the plastic without burning it. So, we made a super hot oven and a cooking pot which is anti and oxygen free. To proceed, we put the waste plastic into the pot with an ideal cooking temperature between 350 to 400 degrees. Then, switch the oven and it's time to cook some plastics. It's only been going on for a few minutes to get hot to start breaking down the plastic polymers that we put in the cookie pots. At that point, they start forming flammable vapors that they are going to rise up into the condensing column. They will condense and cool into some kind of liquid fuel which will collect in a container. The final product that we produce is diesel. Turning plastic into biofuel is a sustainable way to manage plastic waste in our country. As an example, in Chile, less than 1% of their waste was recycled. The rest 99% ends up in the landfill. So by turning the plastic into biofuel, we can reduce the waste accumulation in the landfill. If this were implemented in every recycling center across the globe, we will save our environment. Thus, we will generate better finances and generate income for our country.
In conclusion, the project plastic into biofuel is not only contributed to our country, but it helped in solving our environmental issues. I believe if everyone plays a role and does as we should, trust me, our plastic waste will decrease approximately 50% per year.